Give me answers. We're on Sean's handcuffs. I came up to Cole Niedermeyer. I was jostled behind again. I was blindfolded, handcuffed, and hung on the door like a bag of dry cleaning. Mr. Phantom's not moving us, and it's not moral that we're running out of suspects. Lacey arrives. Here you all are. Great. Niedermeyer's the most on the approach. They hurry out. Pete and the others follow Sean through the lobby. If our is to know nothing of our troubles here tonight, are we clear? Yes, sir. Good. We are going to act as if everything is absolutely perfect while praying that it actually will be. Caitlin returns Pete's bow tie. A blonde man opens the door to a well-dressed crowd. Uh, ah! This way! Ah, Mr. Niedermeyer! Welcome, 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 sir. How glorious to have you here this evening, along with your entourage. Niedermeyer eyes the clipped handcuffs. Sean throws to a bald man. And Mr. Tyler just, I uh, yeah. He extends his hand. Tyler shakes it hesitantly. What an honor. What a thrill. I, I have not missed a single one of your films, sir. Pro catchers, dead and gone. Classics, classics. Tyler grins and claps him on the arm. Hello, Monica. Are you as thrilled about this evening as we are, sir? All preparations proceeding at pace, but Yes, exactly. I give it. Sir, and yes they are. We could not possibly have it more under control. A balloon string dangles before Niedermeyer. Lacey? Lacey, no! Lacey tugs on the string. Water balloons drop from the ceiling, drenching the crowd. Some people shield themselves while Tyler stands wearing an unfazed expression. A balloon hits Niedermeyer on his balding head. Now Brian reads from a website. At the big climax, the mayhem monster traps a bunch of kids in the school auditorium. Then starts going so big, he completely sucks the air out of the place. Oh well, yeah, that should be a really easy for him to do that. You're always going to try something like it. Come on, let's go on Pete. Brian hurries out of Sean's office. Behind him, Karen spots a key on the floor and picks it up before following. In the line, he brings over towels. The blonde man, LaMonica, reaches for one. Wait, your turn. Sean frowns at the completely dry Pete, who shrugs. Pete, right, McGibbon. Since you don't have any answers as to why our balloons became water balloons, perhaps you can answer this. Who told you to remove the incredibly expensive mayhem monster from my roof? Sean trades a wide-eyed look with Pete. I didn't remove it, sir. It's up there, still, exactly the way you wanted it to be. And I'm telling you that ten minutes ago when I came in, it wasn't there. Pardon me. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I am simply stopping here to say goodbye. Miss Tori Hicks! <laughs> the woman who brought the tinsel to Tinseltown. Of course, you know Tyler Jessen and goodbye. What do you mean goodbye? Just because I call my people cattle does not mean they can be treated as such. We've been outside, cooling our heels in the limos for three quarters of an hour. Are you opening these doors or aren't you? All right, McGreevy. You heard Miss Hicks open those doors now. I'll see if I can find out what happened that last night. Pete departs and Sean forces a smile for his boss. Outside, Mason sings for a crowd. You can be an actor, see Mr. Actor, he make a monkey good. Within a half an hour, you look like Carol Bauer. Who made the Hollywood? Having emerged from the building, Sean claps and smiles, flashing the crowd two thumbs up as he approaches Mason. He grips the man's shoulder. What are you doing? Entertaining your neglected guests. <laughs> Listen here, you freak show. I could have sworn I told you to keep away from here this evening. Is there a problem? Stay out of this, lady. A young woman in a gold dress gets out of a limo. Ask over here, ask you. Oh. 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 I... It's your... Uh, your her. The newcomer takes Mason's arm. Who's my friend to you, Miss Madison Ashley Metz? Oh. You... <laughs> you two... What, you, you know each other? This is her hometown. She virtually grew up in this theater. In fact, Ruby Mason was the very first one who encouraged me to become an actress. <laughs> Swell, I, uh... I, if you'd be a sweetie and open 
open the doors, my escort and I are more than ready to go in and take our seats. Sean forces a grin. As Mason smiles at him, Sean lowers his gaze and leads the pair toward the doors. Standing at the entrance, Zeke nods to patrons going in. Mrs. Riley and George approach. I know that my dad's going to be worse. I'm Pete Riley's mom, and I don't want to get in to see the premiere. I really don't. I just desperately need to find my kids. Zeke nods and removes a rope barrier, letting the couple in. Yes! Inside, elegantly dressed people mingle in the lobby. Karen and Brian move through the crowd. They pass Mason chatting with guests. 